Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about seven interesting Power Query tricks. Now, I've been doing a lot of DAX videos off late. I thought it'll be a nice change to do a little Power Query video. Without any further ado, let's get started. All right, trick number one is that how do you actually turn off the default data type step that gets added into Power Query? So oftentimes when you're creating a query, a step is gonna be added, which is change type. And I find it very annoying because I manually have to delete that over and over again. Can we have a setting in Power Query so that that step doesn't get added automatically? Yes, there is. So I'm just actually gonna add this data to my query. I click on the data, I go to the data tab from table range, and this data is gonna be added to my Power Query window. Now, alongside that, you can see that we have a source step and a change type step gets added. Now, each time this gets added on its own, I have to manually delete that. What I can actually do is I can actually go to the file here, go to options and settings, and then query options right here. In query options, I'm actually going to to go to two places and actually turn this off. So under global settings, which is going to apply to all future files, I can actually click on the data load here and I can say that never detect column types. I can do that. And of course, in the current workbook also under data load, I can actually turn that off. Uh, you know, this is already off. And I'm just gonna say, okay, and this will never get added. So for now, I'm actually gonna delete this step and close my query and just maybe discard this query and load the data once again to see if that happened or not. So data tab from table range, and you will see that now this time, the change type step is not going to be added. Now let's just say that trick number two is that, what if I have done a couple of steps in the query and now genuinely I want to kind of detect the data type for all the columns there are in my table. So what you can actually do is now is that click on one column, press control A, that is going to select all the columns, go to the transform tab and you can actually click the single button called detect data type. And this is actually going to read the data of the columns and detect a correct type for all the columns there are. And of course, if you want to change any particular data type, you can actually change that manually, but this actually solves the purpose of uh, detecting the correct data type for all the columns there are. All right, trick number three is that you can actually refer to any of the previous steps that you have created in the query. Not a lot of people know about it and this is how you actually do it. So you can see that as of now we have two steps, source and the change type step. I can actually go back and refer to the immediate previous step or any other previous step that I have done in the query. I just click on the FX button, which is the formula bar and a new step gets inserted and which is where I have written the name of the previous step. This is the way that you write it in case you have spaces in the name. But in case I wanna to refer to the source step which doesn't have any space, I can actually refer to the source step and all the data that was there in the source step will be referred to the third step. So I can just write source here and I can commit to that, press enter. And what I have now is the data coming from the source step which doesn't have the change type step applied. All right, trick number four is that you can actually break the query into two parts. So I have just added two steps here, which is the added custom, just writing one all across for no good reason, and the change type step once again. And maybe I wanna break the query in the middle and I wanna create another query. So I can just maybe go to any step which is in the middle of the query, right click on that step, and I'm just gonna click on extract previous. What this is going to do is, it's gonna take all of the previous step to the step that you have selected and create a new query on its own. So I'm just gonna click Click on extract previous it's going to take these two steps and make a query i'm just going to name the query as new and i'm just going to say okay and in that query that has just got created you will find that the two steps which is the source and the change type got inserted now this is one query the last step which is the change type or the end of this query becomes the first step of the query from which we broke it off. So in the source step, you will find that the source is actually nothing but the new query that we have created, which is actually a spill off from the previous query. This is especially helpful when you wanna break the large query into two different parts, make it more manageable. This trick is extremely beneficial. All right, trick number five is especially helpful when you wanna take a look at all the Power Query functions there are and maybe use one of those functions as well. So what you can do is you can add a new step by clicking on the FX button and right here in the formula bar, uh, write the uh, hash symbol and after that write the shared keyword in small letters, commit to that, press enter and you will gonna get a list of all the functions that are available. You can even take a look at the document 
documentation of the function and even invoke the function right here. All right, trick number six is especially helpful when you wanna restrict the other people to take a look at your query. So for now, I'm done with my query. I'm just gonna click on close and load and the data of the query is gonna load back into my Excel. Now maybe I wanna protect the query itself, not the result, the result is absolutely fine, but I don't want anybody to take a look at this query. So what I can actually do is I can protect the structure of the workbook. I'm just gonna go to the review tab. In the review tab, I can actually click on protect workbook and actually protect the structure. If you give it a password, make sure that you remember the password. For now, I'm just gonna leave it blank and say, okay. And now if I try to open up this data query, if I right click here and if I click on edit, you can see that it doesn't really allow me to edit this query. Not only this, if you have any data loaded into Power Pivot in the data model, it's also not going to allow you to edit that data model. You can take a look at the model, you can refresh the model, but you would not be able to edit the query or the Power Pivot model. All right, the final one, trick number seven. This trick I actually learned from a fellow Excel enthusiast. His name is John McDougall and he writes a blog on how to excel, you should check it out. This trick is about copy pasting the M code that gets generated without even opening the query. So what you can do is actually in the queries and connections window that gets opened up once you load the data, you can actually right click on the query and you can click on the copy here. What this is going to do is it's actually going to copy all the M code and save it in the clipboard and once you open maybe a notepad or something and then just go try to paste that right here you can see that all of the code that got generated automatically is now pasted here and if you want to share it you can actually share it without even opening the query all right those were my seven tricks that i actually wanted to share with you if you have a nifty trick in power query that you use very often that you'd like to share why don't you put them down in the comments and i'd be glad to take a look at that if you would like to learn power query right from scratch build queries to automate tasks in excel you should definitely check out my course on power query which is where i teach you power query right from scratch and build you up to a level where you start creating sophisticated queries to automate a bunch of tasks in excel that was all about it if you have any questions please put down a comment thanks so much for watching this and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.